Do Megan the Stallion and JT have a common enemy? Welcome or welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we are here for a new Fem Rap Politics session. And of course, we are going to talk about the girls. The girls are outside, everybody outside, everybody on tour. And so actually, as I record this, Megan the Stallion is currently on stage for night one of her, um, here it is, of her, um, hot girl summer tour so we're definitely going to be checking out and tracking its progress and seeing you know um what the turnout is so we'll come back to that later okay um but actually no let's actually tackle it right now so uh, let's come over to twitter because what i showed you first is here's the crowd and so um here is the crowd this is when glorilla was on stage so glorilla is opening up for megan okay <laughs> So of course, as an opener, you're there when the lights are on, when not a lot of, not the whole arena is filled. Remember, this is their opening night. This is night one. Um, and so, you know, it's not going to be as crowded as it would be for Meg. And we'll see some of that um, right now. So actually, their first city stop is Gax, not Gax, child, is Minneapolis, Minnesota. So actually, Nicki Minaj was just there on her um tour last week, actually. And so we'll talk about that soon. But here is, Megan has her own sort of like VIP lounge or package, like hot girl summer, whatever, and you get drinks or whatever. So people, fans have already been um, getting content and posting the comparisons between Nicki Minaj's VIP lounge as well as Megan Thee Stallion's VIP lounge. Yeah, let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. Here is... um. Here is what a sold out crowd in mini in the Minneapolis in the Minneapolis arena looks like. Here's what a sold out crowd in the Minneapolis arena looks like. Okay. This is when Nicki Minaj was just there just a couple days ago. This is a sold out three tier crowd. Okay. Here is the same arena, but for tonight for Megan the Stallion. <laughs> So at this point, you're seeing it. Um, Glow is still on stage. Let me see if I can show you something where Megan is on stage. Now, the arena is still packed, you know. I still think that this is pretty good. Here it is for night one. This is as I'm talking right now. This person is um live recording Megan's concert. You can't see the full arena, but you know it's packed. It's definitely packed in the front. And I must say, I, I do like her stage, you know. I like her stage. I like the circular thing because it's kind of given um, Renaissance Beyonce. Beyonce had a stage similar to that. So, yeah, I'm feeling it. Let me know what you guys are thinking thus far about the tour and stuff so that's so you got minneapolis um for Nicki minaj and then you have minneapolis for whatever so it's going to be interesting to see the numbers um when it comes to ticket sales and capacity for um you know both like all the arenas megan is doing Nicki minaj probably did that so it'll be interesting because you know this is megan the stallions i believe her first headlining world tour um headlining like solo like with no one else so it's going to be really interesting to see what she does and also compare it to like what uh not for real for real compare to i'm not gonna do it but it, it would be interesting to understand like what her tour means and what Nicki minaj's pink friday debut album tour meant in 2010 2011 so yeah but let's move along to the real tea of the video so i caught this on the neighborhood talk where it has said that um Megan the Stallion was and and Glorilla was shading somebody, but you know I ain't look into it. So by the time I look into it and click the link, the neighborhood talk deletes their post reporting on Megan the Stallion and whoever um current Glorilla was shading. And so I'm like, come on, where am I going to find it? So here the article, and don't worry, I got the video, child. One thing about me, child, I'm a, I'm, I'm a search for it. And so um so people believe that they are shading JT. So fans are accusing Megan the Stallion of contributing to the J Glorilla and JT beef, but others think that this theory is just being messy. Moreover, it seems from behind the scenes footage from the music video shoot for Meg and Glorilla's recent collaboration, um, they seem to be making fun of the city girl JT, wearing her wig to the side. So let's go over here and see the video now. <laughs> so the question so <laughs> so the question is okay so they said wear your wig to the side so what do y'all think do y'all think that they are <laughs> 
do you guys think that they are shading JT? I mean, I, I do because it's like right before this, I saw one of the tweets that but when JT and Glorilla were going at it, like, you know, Gl Glorilla did make that comment like, oh, JT, your wig is to the side or whatever. And she had that picture of JT, her wig turned to the side. She was wearing a blonde wig that was specifically styled to the side. So I don't know really like how that was a gag. Maybe I missed it or whatever, but it's cool. And so I definitely do think that they are shading JT. Um, People are saying no, they're being messy because JT and Megan have had a relationship when JT was in the City Girls. But whatever relationships, what we have to understand as um, fans is that whatever relationships, especially in female rap, whatever relationships we knew to have existed no longer exists. That's what y'all need to understand is that these women don't like each other. These women are not friends. These women are working together for business and business only. And so you need to understand that, um, yeah, it is what it is. And so let me show you something real quick though. Um, so Yahoo thought, you know, uh, they were friends, right? So here on the Fair Rap Politics playlist is where we could we we talk about everybody's relationships to each other. And so Megan Thee Stallion, here in my previous video I did, Facing a New Enemy. We all know Megan Thee Stallion and Cardi B to be, have been friends for years at this point. And now it doesn't seem so. It's not a lot of synergy going on between them. So I'm just using this as an example. There's no confirmed beef or issues between them or whatever. So we don't really know. But what we do know is that actually I'll talk about this in a bonus upcoming video on the playlist so make sure that you guys catch that so um yeah that's what y'all need to understand is that these girls are not friends and it's going to be interesting because you know you got meg and and glorilla okay but then glorilla is cool with cardi megan is kind of not really cool with cardi right now so that's kind of you know interesting then you got the 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 jt thing where it's like megan's supposed to be cool with jt but not really glorilla definitely not cool with jt so it seems like glorilla's relationships are the ones that are stable it's either she like the girl or don't but megan is the one who's in the middle was like oh it's, i'm not really with cardi b or i'm not really with jt but we don't really know that and i think that 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 really is the case so i definitely do think that they were shading um so i definitely want to know what you guys think about it of course and do you think that jt is going to respond i definitely think that she shall respond she will respond um hopefully a you know not hopefully but maybe a, a subliminal message um in an upcoming song or verse or whatever but i definitely don't think that she needs to take these girls head on because they're rappers they have attitudes they're gonna say things but does it really need to be this big thing i mean it can be if they want it to be but not really you know so yeah that's why i want to know what you guys think about it and i definitely want to know what you guys think about um night one or the beginning just the beginning in general of making the stallions tour does it really look like it's selling out um based on any numbers that you saw or any reports on it i definitely want to just be as fair as possible so i'm definitely just going to be looking for footage and information that's telling me how successful it is but thank you guys so much for watching to the end if you did y'all already know what to do make sure that you are subscribed with all notifications on so that you don't miss when i upload and you catch my next live um and definitely make sure that you guys like the video okay so y'all have an amazing day or night wherever whatever time it is where you are, and I'll see you in the next video.